Hey man, what's going down? It's you with Maxwell Cream. This is the first time. All right, Blue Door. So I was at Ellie Ticks. I was like 19 or something like that. And me, me and Linda was rapping. You know what I'm saying? And like, it was everybody from the hood that was rapping. Like, they was on the show or whatever. And I started rapping and I choked like on some Eminem type shit. <laughs> But I ain't go out like Eminem, see? When like niggas start booing and I pop me, I'm like, hold on, hold on, hold on. Y'all got me fucked up. Anybody in here got a problem with me? Ooh, could come look at that shit. You feel me? I got very aggressive, yeah. That shit was lame, but that was my first time. I choked like a motherfucker. He probably don't even know this shit. And I'm gonna tell his ass. Like, he opened up the golf store on Fairfax. Like, in, I don't know if he did in 2014 or some shit like that. I was just dropping the tape and I walked in the store, he was there. And I gave him a tape, like, yo, check me out. And he, and he looked at me like, okay. Big tree, big business, big I don't know if he ever checked it out, but shit, I guess we working now, so. I think I was called Maxo Cream by the police in the school. Cause at first I was Maxo C. Even when I started Cream Click, Maxo C, the C was for Crip. You know what I'm saying? But when I started Cream Click, we was in school, we had like a little fight or whatever, woo, woo, woo. And like, it was Cream versus another clique, I ain't gonna say their name. And then like when the cops came, they were like, yeah, yeah, Maxo, Maxo Cream, because of Cream Click. And they kind of stuck, Cream stand for kicks, rule everything around me, cash rule everything around me, and kick those, you know what I'm saying? Me and my cousin Lindo, and my brother Madhu, I think Madhu was just like the hype man with the ad libs at the time, but we had wrote a song called Lace Up My Nikes. Cause like when I was eight, I wanted to be a rapper, a uh, fucking NFL, NBA player, a uh, WWE wrestler. I wanted to be everything. Lace up my Nikes, lace up my Nikes. Cause we go into the field, we gonna something like that. We thought we were so tight, we were lame as hell. I grew up on screw. My older brother had all the screw tapes, all the gray tapes, so shit. Shit like that is just like asking me when the first time I wore a shirt. 95, yeah, but we come again. It's a like Houston coach, but I could say like when I really started to understand Screw, I'm gonna say I I like around nine years old. Like I made a song rapping in Screw, so like you supposed to like record the song and then screw it. But I wrote the song and when I went to go to like rapping to my brother, I was rapping the Screw like, man, hold up, y'all boy, like you know what I'm saying type shit. But I grew up on Screw. Shit. I had went to Nigeria when I was like two years old. I went to go visit. Even when like I was born or like was in my mama's stomach, my daddy was taking her all over Europe, taking her everywhere, you feel me? Shit like that. So I've been traveling. I'm actually going back to Nigeria in December because my daddy just got out. You know what I'm saying? I ain't been back since I was two. So I don't know. I'm, you know what I'm saying, ready to see, but just had that good suit ready for me. That good stew is going down, man. Shit, I was in the house doing my homework. My daddy was on the phone making a call. He like, yeah, this is Brandon Banks. I, I like, daddy, who the hell is that? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But this is alias name. All right, so growing up, me and my dad got the same name. You know what I'm saying? Emek on them eBay at Google or Sonny Biosa Jr. He's senior. Listen, my son, Emek, let me start by saying that I'm proud of you, man. But Brandon Banks is his get money name. Like, you know what I'm saying? That was like his alias. So like everything he was hiding from me, was Brandon Banks. And Brandon Banks got a lot of money. I seen Brandon Banks touch a lot of money, do a lot of big dog shit, pull up in cars. Like my first time driving, learning how to drive was it was in the S500 AMG of that year. You feel me? So shit. Brandon Banks was a, a rich getting money nigga. My daddy was my daddy. Sixth grade, you know what I'm saying? I was just talking about yard hooping. 82 big dudes, they, they um played left tackle, right guard. They was all the way in high school, they was seniors. I'm hooping and shit. And like everybody was making the jokes. My mom used to come to the block and whoop me. She was gonna whoop my ass in front of everybody, you know what I'm saying? So I'm dribbling the basketball or whatever. They pull up inside their car. They're like, hey boy, you better get your ass in the house for your mama come slap you. I like, what? And like, I got a temper problem. I realized I had a temper problem when I was young. Like these are big ass varsity playing 500 pound bench press niggas. I'm a little kid, like sixth grade, you feel me? I take my basketball and hit this Honda Civic put a dent in it, he what? When he hopped out at first, I run to the door. But then I turn around, cause I got into it with another high schooler, like 
a week before that, and I ran from him. I seen like I just talk shit, pick, like you know what I'm saying, do this shit. So I turned around, like I ain't running no more. Fuck that. And when I turned around, he was right there. I like, what's up? This nigga slapped the holy grail out of me. What I'm talking about, he slapped me into next week. He was so gangster with that, he slapped me, you feel me? He sat me down, talked to me, then was like, bro, if you got any problem, anybody fuck with you, I got your back. Sometimes the big homies gotta rough you up so you can become Maxo Cream like this, you know what I'm saying? Never let a nigga put their hands on you. Hurricane Katrina, 2005. Like, it rained bad floods and shit. She ain't really flood like that. But the whole New Orleans came. That shit changed everything. When they came, they bought their guns, drugs, all that shit. And like, I was in the streets at the time, I was 15. So like, that's what really turned me up. Harvey, like, the reason why Harvey was so bad, like, it affected the hood too, but it fucked up the suburbs too. Like, it fucked up everything. You know what I'm saying? It affected my mama. I had gave her my Mad Black Range Rover. It fucked up that car. She had to get a whole new house. You know what I'm saying? Goddamn water inside the house up to here. And then, you know, you got sockets, like the lights still on, all kind of dangerous ass shit. Well, yeah, man, Harvey was some real shit. Like, that shit really, like, you know what I'm saying? Made niggas really just start taking shit for granted. You know what I'm saying? And being blessed, control blessings. You know what I'm saying? It's our stress and control blessings.